What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and this morning we're going to be talking about all 40 achievements inside of Modern Warfare 3 campaign, multiplayer, and zombies, as well as a surprise update that you guys aren't going to be happy about. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and also as a reminder, we have plenty, and I mean plenty, of brand new coverage going up over on Detonated.com, expanding on all the coverage you're seeing here on the channel, just in the form of articles on the website, and plenty of tweets every single hour on Detonated's Twitter. There has been so much going on leading up to the launch of Campaign Early Access, as well as additional marketing for multiplayer and zombies, both of which do release next week on November the 9th. And I've been covering as much as I possibly can here on the channel and, of course, over on the website. But as a reminder as well, there are brand new MW3 Control Freaks. About three different sets of thumbsticks have been revealed. The first one, of course, being the Collector's Edition, featuring a collector's box. They're red theme thumbsticks. We also have a limited edition black theme of the same thumbsticks. But then a new set got revealed as of a day ago featuring the Kony logo on them. You can buy anything you want on Control Freak and use code DYNAMITE to save up to 12% off any order. So take advantage of that while that's still available and definitely be sure to pick up some MW3 thumbsticks while they're still in stock. But later today, I'll be streaming a countdown and playthrough of the entire MW3 campaign during the early access period. While I'm streaming, I'll also have plenty of videos going up, breaking down each individual mission, giving you guys a very cohesive playthrough. And there will also be lots of articles going up on Detonated with in-depth walkthroughs and story breakdowns about everything there is to know with the single player experience. Now, now, speaking of campaign, though, while we go ahead and count down to the early access campaign today, I'll be picking up the last two trophies I need to hit Platinum and Modern Warfare 2 on PS5, just to really give a nice send-off to last year's Call of Duty, and to prepare for the brand new narrative that I can't wait to jump into later today. Now, real quickly, the PlayStation 5 Modern Warfare 3 bundle did get fully revealed. The bundle itself does come with the brand new PS5 Slim, and funny enough, the bundle itself costs $499, yes, $500, and ironically, the PS5 Slim also costs the same amount. But the fact that this bundle comes with Modern Warfare 3 literally means you get Modern Warfare 3 for free with this bundle. So that's a bit of a bargain there if you guys are on the lookout for a new PS5 and also don't have a physical copy or any copy for that matter of the new Call of Duty. You can get a free copy of the game by picking up the brand new PS5 Slim bundle. Let me know if you guys are going to be picking that up down below in the comments. And the reason I even bring that up is because it's actually really relevant to something that you're not going to be happy about. Before we jump into all 40 achievements for the entirety of MW3, I have to mention something that was making the rounds on Twitter as of yesterday, and that's the fact that MW3 apparently does not have a Platinum Trophy on PS5. Supposedly now, there is a Platinum Trophy for the game on PS4 for whatever reason, but it looks like the COD HQ hub, or the COD HQ client on console, isn't recognizing Modern Warfare 3 as its own title, and it's recognizing the game as DLC for Modern Warfare 2. Now, I know what some of you guys are going to say, oh, I told you, DK, MW3 is a $70 DLC. Well, that isn't the case, and I do believe this is a bug. Hopefully that is the case for Modern Warfare for three because if it's not then that puts in question how a platinum trophy could ever release in the future for a new call of duty since going forward every new cod title is going to release and launch through the cod hq client so that would mean black ops 2024 and games after that also don't have a platinum trophy i refuse to believe that especially considering the ps4 version does have one obviously xbox and pc don't have platinum trophies but it's been a bit of a tradition going ahead and unlocking platinum for every new and canon call of duty title in the current universe i've been doing that for the last couple of years and and I plan on continuing that here with Modern Warfare 3. If there is a Platinum Trophy, if not, I'll have to plug in my PS4 and try to go for that in the next couple of weeks. But now jumping into all 40 achievements, starting off with Campaign, we have no such thing as too many. Find and use all armaments in open combat missions. Of course, the open world ones. There's about five open world missions and nine traditional missions in MW3 single player. We then have Dialed In. Customize your loadout in every open combat mission. We have Gearhead. Collect all weapons and field upgrades from supply boxes in open combat missions. We have Sample Platter. Use five different armaments in open combat missions. We have I Call Shotgun. Drive a vehicle with a sentry gun on the back and have it kill five enemies. That sounds pretty fun. We then have Tag Your It. Use a spotter scope to tag 60 enemies or items in open combat missions. Then Bulletproof. Find all plate carrier upgrades in open combat missions. Then have you tried turning it off and on. Use a shock stick to disable an enemy sentry gun. Followed by That's One Way to Do It. Destroy an air an enemy helicopter with a mortar strike. We then have Hey Catch. Throw and hit an enemy directly with a flammable canister, then blow them up with it. We then have Frequent Flyer. Base jump and travel more than 150 meters with your parachute. Probably easy to do in the Verdance Dam. We then have High Wire Act. Kill 10 enemies while using a zip line. We then have Never Bury Your Enemies Alive. Complete the campaign, followed by 141 Ready. Complete the campaign on Veteran. Then we have Death Row. Kill 12 enemies while descending in the Panopticon 
Decepticon in Operation 627. We then have Floater parachutes off a gantry crane onto the roof of the Harbor Master's building in Precious Cargo. Then Hilo Hat Trick destroy each objective helicopter in reactor with a different armament. We then have Two Fur using the EBR 14, kill two enemies with one bullet five times in payload without sounding the alarm. We then have Back in the Field acquire the Major's key card in deep cover within 90 seconds without being detected. Moving on to Shot Blocked, shoot the gun out of the air in Flashpoint before a terrorist catches it. We have Think She'll Notice, destroy all the cars in the mansion garage in Oligarch. Elevator out of order, reach the roof in high rise in under 45 seconds, followed by Snow Angel, execute the forest sniper in Frozen Tundra with a takedown. We then have Hitchhiker, defuse the bomb on the truck in Gora Dam while it is in motion. We then have your tax dollars at work, use a missile to take out a single enemy in Danger Close. And that's it for campaign. So I'm also happy that we have the icons for each of these achievements that did leak out as of about a day ago. I put them in the article and you'll see them on screen so you can see. You'll also see these inside of your MW3 pre -down download if you have the game digitally pre-ordered you'll see these on steam battle.net playstation and even the xbox but moving on to multiplayer achievements there's only one but i included two in here as you'll see so the first one is the first step reach level 55 in mw3 multiplayer this is probably the achievement that most people are going to do last if they're an achievement hunter they'll probably go for the ones they can do directly and then maybe go for some multiplayer grinding after that that's probably what i'm going to do but i also included a soldier's purpose in here collect all trophies in modern warfare 3 last trophy you'll actually need before hitting platinum so that's usually how platinum works for just about every cod title or most games out there collect every trophy and that itself is a trophy so i just put this in here just to fill up some space for multiplayer and to give the mode some more love right i would have hoped for a couple of other multiplayer trophies but i can understand why campaign and zombies certainly got the spotlight this time around especially considering the open combat missions which are brand new for the modern warfare series moving on though to all of our zombie achievements we have and so it begins successively xville in Modern Warfare Zombie. We have Write Off, kill 500 enemies using an insured weapon in MWZ. Perkaholic, have nine perks active at the same time in MWZ. Gravestone, kill 100 enemies with a vehicle in a single deployment of Modern Warfare Zombies. Moving on to Back from the Dead, reclaim your gear from a tombstone in MWZ. Helpful Stronger, arrive a player from a different squad in MWZ. So again, assimilation from DMZ is coming back. We have You Can Pet the Dog, like Cold War, pet a hellhound in Modern Warfare Zombies. We have Higher gun complete 20 contracts in mwz seeing red complete five contracts in the high threat zone in a single deployment in mwz we then have the n complete act three in mwz so that's one of the final faction missions in the mode itself which i believe triggers a boss fight and then the cutscene for the narrative but this is separate from the actual easter egg quest which apparently is going to get added during the post launch similar to the hidden quest that's also in outbreak from black ops cold war moving on to slaughterhouse kill 50,000 total enemies in mw so for those zombie grinders out there, this won't be that difficult, but for those out there that maybe primarily play single player or just regular MP or don't play too much COD at all, this one's going to take a little bit of grinding. But then we have Conqueror defeats a warlord inside of MWZ. Apparently a warlord is type of new boss inside of the mode that's only found at fortresses. We haven't seen any footage or much details about the warlord, so maybe we'll learn more about that in a blog post next week. But sounds pretty fun, sounds like a challenge. And last but not least, one against all. Kill Orcus while in a six-person squad in modern warfare zombie so this requires assimilation not sure who or what orcus is this new version of orda a little bit unknown here but looking forward to seeing all the new secrets and bosses inside of modern warfare 3 zombies now last thing i want to end with is in regards to dlc trophies something i really miss dearly especially for zombies is the ability to go ahead and grind new trophies out every time a new map does get added in because dlc zombie maps don't get added in as separate downloads anymore they're just essential title updates or patches and side of the base game there isn't a way for them to i suppose add new trophies for the new zombie experience black ops 4 was the last game in the call of duty series to add in dlc trophies for their zombie maps I don't know if there's any way they could do this in the future, probably not, but maybe they could just recognize a future zombie update or a future zombie map as a DLC expansion to COD HQ, and then through that, we can go ahead and grind new trophies. Hopefully that is the case for either MW3 or Black Ops 2024, because I'm a trophy hunter. I absolutely love going for some of these Call of Duty achievements, and I'm sure you guys do as well. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on all 40 achievements here inside of Campaign, Multiplayer, and Zombies? I've covered some of this information 
in a couple of separate videos. I figured I'd put one big one together leading up to the launch of Campaign Early Access. Since beginning today, you could at least grind out the campaign trophies before the full game launch on November the 10th. Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everybody.